In this sub-lesson, we'll discuss what Network Address Translation, or NAT, is. We'll show and describe the different virtual machine connectivity options in VirtualBox. And finally, we'll demonstrate how to create and configure a NAT network in VirtualBox. You will need a NAT network so that the different virtual machines in VirtualBox can communicate with each other. So what is NAT? Well, here we have a illustration with a PC and a router and the internet. So what is it? Well, NAT redirects an IP address space to another IP address space. It's often used between a private LAN and the internet. So for example, we have the 192.168.1 network over here. This PC is a member of that. This router is a member of that as well. But over here, we have the public address of the router. That's the public internet space. And so NAT is going to redirect between those. So if the PC here wants to get out to the internet, it'll do that through the router. And servers on the internet will not know this PC's private IP number. Network address translation will make it so that servers on the internet will only see this IP address of the router communicating with them. They won't see this. So that's network address translation and it's taken care of at the router here. In a virtualization system, we can kind of go down to the micro level. In a virtualization system, it's used to allow virtual machines in a separate internal private network to communicate with the LAN, with the local area network. So for example, if this is the virtualization host here, and we have a virtual machine over here that's inside of it, well, that virtual machine might be on a network like 10.0.2.0, whatever IP address it gets, it's gonna need to do translation between that IP network and the IP network of the host. So network address translation not only happens at the router, but it also happens at the virtualization host to allow communication between the VMs and out to the LAN and ultimately out to the internet. So that's network address translation, not only for the LAN, but also for a virtualization system. Let's go ahead and show the different network connectivity modes and also show how to create a NAT network now. Okay, so I've connected to a Windows 10 laptop and I have VirtualBox open here and you can see I have some virtual machines already set up. To show the different network connectivity modes, we have to show them within the settings of a virtual machine. So I'm gonna go and right click on one of the virtual machines and go to settings and then go down to network and in the Attach To section, we can see the options. So we've got several options here. We've got NAT, we've got Bridged Adapter, Internal Network, Host Only Adapter, Generic Driver, NAT Network, and Not Attached at All. So you can run a variety of virtual machines in different ways with different network connections. Not attached would be not connected to the network at all, completely isolated. NAT means that you're behind a NAT connection and you're on an internal private network and the virtual machine can connect out to the internet. But with NAT in VirtualBox, that virtual machine won't be able to connect with other virtual machines on here. If you want these virtual machines to talk to each other, you have to select NAT network uh, as of the recording of this video with VirtualBox. Other virtualization systems, you just choose NAT and it usually works fine. But with VirtualBox, you'd have to select NAT network. And you're gonna wanna do that to have your different virtual machines talk to each other. You'll also see bridged. That means that you're connecting directly to the LAN and you get an IP address on the local area network instead of an internal private IP within VirtualBox. So NAT network is the one that we're gonna be using 
but you have lots of options here. Again, chapter six in the VirtualBox manual can be very helpful with all these descriptions of these settings. Okay, let's jump over to another system here. I'm gonna to move to VirtualBox, which is running on my Linux virtual machine. And this has no virtual machines yet, and it has no networks created yet. So this is a great place to start because if you have just downloaded and installed VirtualBox, this is what you'll see. So to create a NAT network, we'll go to File, then we'll go to Preferences, and then we'll go down to Network, and you'll see that there are no NAT networks here currently. We have to create one. So we'll click on the plus sign here, little adapter card plus sign. It's like a little network interface card and click it. When it does that, it automatically adds a NAT network using the 10.0.2.0 network slash 24. If we double click on that, we'll see that actual network address. You'll also see that it supports DHCP. So any of the virtual machines that you create that attach to this NAT network will get an IP address automatically from VirtualBox on the 10.0.2.0 network. Okay. Once you're done creating that, you can click OK. If you ever have an issue, you can get rid of this NAT network by clicking the X here. And you can create additional NAT networks if you want to have more than one network number. So I could create a second here, and it's called NAT Network 1. Double click on that, but give it an entirely different network number. Something like, uh, something like this. And I click OK. But you only need the one. You only need the one NAT network. And so I'm going to get rid of this one just by clicking on the X and remove it. We only need the one for now for our virtual machines. And that's again going to be on that 10.0.2.0 IP network by default. Click OK for that. Click OK for this. And that creates the NAT network. At this point, we can use that NAT network when we create our virtual machines. Okay, so to sum it up, remember network address translation will redirect an IP address space to another IP address space. It happens all the time on the LAN going out to the internet and is done at the router, but it also happens at the virtualization host and any virtual machines that are in that virtualization host will go through NAT to go out to the LAN. So that's a little bit about network address translation and how to set up a NAT network in VirtualBox.